Hey guys, so I got a um, tutorial crest to do a banner like this one. Um, the tutorial that she was asking me to kind of make one is kind of was bleh, bleh, bleh. It was kind of difficult to understand and the way I know how to do it is very simple and I actually think it runs a little smoother than the other one does. Um, so, yeah, this is the, my version of the other tutorial in video format, I guess. So, what you're going to need is, you're going to need your base picture, that's going to be your background, and you're going to need three other pictures that you're going to want to fade in and out. Um... I find it works best with photo shoots that have a white background. I haven't quite mastered if I'm trying to do it from pictures with an event or anything like that, so white backgrounds is the easiest. So once you have your pictures, you're going to make your new um, document, and I'm just doing this one at 450 by 250. <laughs> And I'm just going to click and drag my picture to my documents. And the trick to doing this kind of GIF, GIF, is to do all the editing and coloring before you do the animation because it just makes stuff so much easier. So I'm going to set that there. And I'm just going to put an action on it. This is one that you can get from the site. It's the Denying Butterflies. And then this is a little too over for what I need. And it won't lay the right way. So I'm just going to color drop this background. And take my brush. And first time I'm going to set it the opacity to 100. And just kind of paint it a little bit. You don't have to do this. This is just what I'm doing because it's easier for me. And then I'm just going to let it lower the opacity of my brush and kind of. So it has that gradient fade in effect. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to start taking your other pictures. Oh, not that one. And again, clicking, dragging. And obviously, this picture is huge for this so an easy way to get it without squishing it and skewing it too much is to put shift on your keyboard and then drag the corner down and then drag it to where you want it and I'm obviously putting it in totally different spots than the other one hit the ok and then just going to do the same with your other pictures shift Drag the corner down. And I'll switch this on. Put horizontally. You can also do this with like free transform and stuff like that, but you know, whatever. Shift. And there. And then like all these pictures. You're going to set the layer style to multiply. This is why it's really easy to do it with white background pictures. Because the white just disappears um, into the background. And then you're going to move these however you want. And then you know, erase the parts that you aren't going to want. And like, if you find that, um, something looks out of place or whatever, like that right there, or her arm on that arm, you can erase that, but I'm not going to right now. Simply keep this video short. Now to do text, you're going to create a new layer, and do your text, make this bigger text. Da -da -da -da. 
Oh my gosh. Stop. My cats are sitting here. They're laying next to me and they're swatting at each other. Okay, so you're gonna write in your tet. <laughs> and then you're gonna start editing your text however you want your text edited. Now this part is really important to do before you start doing any animation because it, if you don't it'll mess it up and it'll look really weird and jumpy and frames will move and it's just not good. Now if you want to put layer styles on or yeah layer styles on your text you can go ahead and do that. I want to put a gradient and I like color dropping the colors out of the background so that way you know it matches and so I'm just going to do those two colors and then I'm going to stroke two pixels with a darker color in there make it a little darker you guys hear the sirens? There's sirens going off. I'm gonna do bevel on the boss. And I'm gonna put a drop shadow on there too. Now this part is also really important if you want the styles to be on all of your frames and your whole animation the animation, which I'm sure you do. You're gonna right click your text layer. So you're gonna right click. And then you're gonna, whoa, no, you're gonna right click the layer part. Okay, let me re explain that. You're gonna go to your effects, you're gonna right click it, and then you're gonna go to create layers. And you're gonna just push OK to that. And then you're gonna wanna hit the top one, that's your text, shift, and then the very last part of your text, and you're just gonna merge the layers. That does is it creates it from a text layer to a regular layer, and I mean I'm sure you could do raster you raster size the layer if you want, but I just find this way works the best for me. And I'm also gonna desaturate the pictures that are gonna fade. I could totally use the shortcut keys, but we won't do. Okay. So now you can go ahead and finish putting everything where you want it. Now, if you don't have your animation window up, you just go to window, animation, and normally if you haven't messed with anything in your Photoshop, it will pop down up, up down here, or like somewhere down here. I just have lines where it sets up in this part. Now you're gonna hide all the secondary pictures. Then you're gonna go over to your animation. You're gonna hit this little new layer. And you're gonna not that one. You're gonna put your first picture in. Hit it again. Put your second one in. Hit it one more time. Get your last one. Then one last time, for sure, and then you're going to hide all of them. So now, if you don't do anything, it's just going to look like that. Now, obviously, that's too fast, and it doesn't fade. So we're going to select all the frames by hitting the very first one, shift, and then the very last one. And you're going to click this little black arrow. And the way I had my other one was set at 0 0.12 seconds. So that makes it a little slower. Now to get it to fade, you're going to select your first layer, and you're going to hit this little guy right here next to where the new layer is. This will pop up, and you can pick how many frames you want to add to put between the frames. I was putting eight, so that way it fades really nicely. And then you're going to go over here, and you're going to find the ending of that one. And think of your first picture to where it's like totally faded in. And you're just gonna do it again. Do the same thing. 
can do it again. And then to get them to all fade out, do it one more time. Then go ahead and hit play. And now you have all your pictures fading in, out. You're having the background picture and your texting. Now when you save a GIF or an animation, it's different than saving a regular regular picture. You want to go to File and Save Web and Devices. And then you're going to want to make sure your looping options is on forever. And I'm going to hit play. And I'm just going to save it. Like through there. Save as whatever you want. It'll save. And then there you go. You have your animation. Now when you close this one, the one that you were working on, it's going to ask you if you want to save it. You can if you want, but it's not going to save as an animation. It's just going to save as the PSD with all the layers and everything. So I just hit no, unless I think that I'm going to need it again, which I normally don't. And yeah, that is it. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and ask, and I will try to answer them. Thanks.